Here it is, my secret to booking cheap flights. In the past, I've used websites like this, Skyscanner, Kayak, uh, and as someone who travels as often as I do, I love to get a deal. So I've only recently discovered Secret Flying, so I'm sharing this resource with a few of my favorite people today. What's better than their website is actually their Twitter handle. So if you're logged into Twitter, go over to Secret Flying, that's the handle, and check out some of the deals that they are constantly tweeting out. All kinds of cities around the world, summer, winter, spring, you name it, uh, all different airlines, but they're tweeting out the best deals. So to be completely honest with you, it's a little bit overwhelming. Simply following them on Twitter is not really the solution. A lot of times these flight deals are gone the moment you discover them because sometimes there are mistakes on these websites and so they don't last very long. So that's, that's why I'm sharing the first part of this. The second part is actually using a resource that I am fairly new to. Some people watching this probably have heard of this before or they even use it. It's called If This Then That. IFTTT, and I have created an account recently. There is the alert that I use. Basically, anytime a tweet that comes from Secret Flying mentioning Los Angeles as the city, which is where I live, then I get an email alert right away about the deal. Okay, so I'm going to delete this actually right now and recreate it so that you can learn exactly how to do it and I'll go through it, uh, we'll go through it together. So that's deleting, here we go. Once you've created an if this, then that account, you're gonna click new applet. So we first create the this, which is gonna start with Twitter. Okay, so you've got a few options when you're choosing a trigger. The one you want is right here, new tweet from search. Go ahead and click that and then here's where we would type the Twitter handle, secret flying, okay, create that trigger. So now that we've done the if, now we have to do that. So let's do that now. What we want, the trigger is a tweet, the that is an email. So I'm gonna click email, they give you one option. Now here's where we customize this a little bit. Okay, so for me, I found, I don't need this text at the beginning, all I want here, in the body is essentially what they send in the subject. So all I want to know is the username and the text of that tweet, which is really the deal. So I'm actually going to delete this first bit, leave the username there, and then now type in the text of the tweet. Now this gets a little confusing because you're using these weird funky brackets, but I'll paste this in the um, comments below or in the description rather so that you can copy and paste it very easily. So that is what it looks like. Let's create the action. And so the uh, we wanna click finish. And the final thing that I forgot to show you how to do was to actually specify the keyword for your city, okay? So I mentioned for me, it is Los Angeles, that's where I usually am and where I'm flying out of. So here's what we do, we search for, if we use Los Angeles as the example, I would type it here, Los Angeles from colon secret flying. So let's say you live in Denver, type in Denver. Let's say you live in Toronto. Let's go with that example for a second. I'm gonna click save with Toronto and now every single time Secret Flying tweets about Toronto, I will get an email right away the moment they send it. This is useful, obviously, if you have a flexible travel schedule, but at the same time, if you're planning a trip a few months in advance, I'm telling you the deals that I have seen on this website have been better than any other deals I've ever seen. So definitely something to check out and set it up. Hopefully it doesn't make you crazy and neurotic. It did the first few days for me. I felt like I had to buy every email that I got, but you get used to it and then you start to see trends and you'll know when, when uh, there are really, really good deals. I hope that this helps you. If you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments below, but I look forward to hearing your travel flight booking success stories using this strategy.